Welcome back to the At Home with Roby Show. Visit us today at andrewroby.com. That's Andrew, R-O-B-Y.com. I'm Ashley Davis along with Trent Haston. We're your hosts. Thanks for joining us. Find out more about Andrew Roby. You can call us at 704-334-5477, any project in your home. Trent, today we're talking a lot about outdoor hardscapes. Patrick McIsaac from Roby Electric stayed with, with us. We talked about outdoor lighting, and now I thought it would be great to talk a little bit about just the business of Roby Electric, because it's new to the Roby family in, in relation to the 65 years that you've been around with Andrew Roby. It's great to see how they've grown. It's all relative. Well, let me tell you, I wanted Patrick to stay around because he embodies what we want for young leadership and leadership in our company and in the Roby families and how we're going to take it to the next level and, and how we're going to build a platform that provides uh good opportunities for, for many, many, many families in our region and, and a successful business. So thank you, Patrick. But it's a funny story about how Roby Electric got started. I, I think it was it was not Roby Electric. It was in the late 90s. And uh, my dad, it was a boon time in the remodeling the industry like it is now in Charlotte. And we were doing a couple kitchen renovations, and we could not get the electricians to show up on the jobs because they were so busy. There was a labor shortage similar to the day. And we had one of our carpenter's helpers had done electrical work his whole life, really. He was an electrician by trade. So my dad had these homeowners barking at him and being a guy that says, you want me to jump how high, Ron Haston? He says, man, heck with this, we'll finish these kitchens and make these get- these clients happy now we we caught some flack it was a rough couple of years but uh but but we love doing things right we love building a bond with the with the governmental institutions that that help make sure things are done safe and correctly in in mecklenburg county and in everywhere we work so we fought through that i think uh i think for the first couple of years we we named it we didn't want it to play off the roby brand so we named it Industrial Electrical Technologies. Oh my God. I didn't know that, huh? And then you hired a marketing firm, and you thought, yeah. well, that's not S- a good Systems, I-E-T-S, <laughs> no. And then when we decided coming out of the recession, and it was always part of our business, but then when we decided coming out of the recession, we were going to fight back. We were going to reinvest during the recession. And I think it was January 1 of '09. I think what it was, uh, we said, let's separate the companies. We got to have our company stand on their own two feet. We want to create value on both ends, we, and we want to empower leadership. So, in January one oh nine, we branded Roby Electric with Gary Hickson, Hickson Design, helped us do that. He redid the whole Roby family brand, and Roby Electric was formed on its own. And, and sh- about eight nine months later, Patrick yeah. McIsaac was born. I think it was actually it was a little bit. Uh, I was uh, yeah. Thanks for making me sound like you I'm five a wee years little old. baby. Yeah. But no, I, I remember it was it was August of ten. Actually, is when you guys uh, I got a letter from Dave McGuire, an email Dave McGuire that, that is the COO at Andrew Roby um, about a position opening at Roby Electric, and I was at a firm that that I really thought I would never leave. Um, and I've always had the entrepreneurial juices, and I, I think we had breakfast at at Philadelphia restaurant across from uh, the hospital down there, and, and Trent sort of sold his vision and showed his vision of Roby Electric, and I was hooked. The um, Philadelphia Deli. The Philadelphia Deli. Probably one of the best omelets in Charlotte, I will say that. Every time I ate there with my granddad and my dad, they'd say, we did that addition there, we did that addition <laughs> in the 70s. So, so. I, started, I started in September 10. You're right, so it's been about, about five years. Um, and uh, the company's gone through, we've gone through a pretty robust growth. Um, we're, we're primarily focused on residential and commercial service work and, 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 and small, minor, upfit type type work. Uh, we stay out of that new construction environment, which uh, which is a good niche for us. And, and obviously, we, we've expanded into Greensboro, North Carolina, uh, Columbia, South Carolina, and, and, uh, and really starting to sort of bleed into Greenville, South Carolina as well, uh, hoping to get a presence there in the next uh, next six, seven months. No, Patrick, in, in my role in the family of companies is I help manage and work with Patrick. I, I'm the operational officer from the family side with Roby Electric. So we always fight. I mean, we we want good people. We want to bring them up. I mean, it's it's the quintessential fight of growing a great business and, and adding leaders and, and taking the top platform more and more and empowering people. And, and I say it all the time. I mean, the deal is you don't. And I'm not, I went to college, Patrick went to college, we all went to college, but 
you don't need to go to college. I mean, literally, if you want to put your nose down and work hard and learn a trade, man, learning a trade is out there today. And then our type of business, if you learn a trade and, and, and you work hard and people are bragging on you and you know what you're doing, we're going to create opportunities for you. Well, that, that's true, Trent. There's a statistic out that, that came out recently. The average college graduate actually makes less than the average tradesperson with four years of experience. And obviously, the, the tradesperson usually doesn't have the debt of a college graduate. Um, so you're exactly right. There's a tremendous opportunity right now to get involved in the trades and, and in construction in general. It's a great point. And if anybody's interested, find out more about that. You can go to andrewroby.com, get in touch with Trent, Patrick, anybody within the Roby family of companies, and talk about how they can become part of it. I'm, I'm you know, fairly new. I'm within the last year joined the company. And it is great to see the entrepreneurial spirit that you bring and everybody has within the family of companies. No, thank you, thank you. But but I mean, it's all about self education, team education. Everybody working hard. I mean, the my, the 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 thing is, the first the first ingredient you need is ethics. The second ingredient you need is hard work. And when you talk about hard work, nobody working harder in Charlotte other than the, than the Andrew Roby Company right now than the Carolina Panthers. Oh. Man, about to go nine and zero today, right? Don't jinx us, but we're we could. We don't want to go too far. We are the good luck charm since we've been on the air back in May. We haven't lost a game. We went. We're going. We're going horizontally west out to to Nash Vegas. We're going to take on the Titans today. And uh, come on, Cam, don't don't be ripping down any signs. They might not let exactly. you back in North Carolina. They might not let you back home. All right, Patrick. Thanks so much for being here. Hey, thanks for having me, guys. All right. For Trent Haston and the entire Roby family of companies, I'm Ashley Davis. Thanks for listening. We'll be back next Sunday at 9 a.m. We hope you will be as well for the At Home with Roby show. Visit us today at andrewroby.com. That's Andrew, R-O-B-Y.com. And remember, you're always at home with Roby. Wow, wow, wow.